Zach, you sp scared of the spiders in my truck? Maybe. <laughs> it's huge. It's like the size of a quarter, man. Maybe it could have been Black Widow. We already found a couple of those at the shop. Yeah, in the snowmobile. Yeah, and the van's been in here a while, too. Not in the shop. It's been in here like four days. It's long enough. <laughs> So how much of that did actually hit the pan? Is <laughs> the question? I don't know. Not a lot. <laughs> it sprayed all the way out underneath the uh, table. <laughs> So I talked to a few guys that I trust, and they said, you're going to take the motor out anyways. If it's running fine now, just run it until it blows. And the other fact of the matter is, is yes, because this thing was in California, and also because I think that it was a McMillan's truck, which the McMillan's are a racing family down in California. They're, if you don't know who they are, then you need to look them up, because they're insane. But as far as I know... What I think with this van is it's one of three trucks that the McMillans had built back in like the 80s or 90s. And uh, it was built for them for chase vehicles. So it would not surprise me that they picked up a whole lot of dirt and sand and stuff from racing the Baja 1000 or whatever they use this thing for. If that story is true, and I don't know if it is or not, but... It was one of three vans that were this color in San Diego. So it's kind of coincidental. That's a 4x4 four four van. There's not, I've never seen another 4x4 four four van this year in this color. So we'll see. But we'll get this thing cleaned out as much as we can. And uh, hopefully it doesn't first startup just blow up on us popping its cherry oh that one in the motor oh we're definitely gonna have to change the oil now god this thing weighs so much oh Probably be almost easier to take it out through the inside. It might be. It's, it's going to be hard, especially with the carb on it. Alright, so the seal is broken. Dun, 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 dun. What am I hung up on? Dun, 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 dun. Oh no. <laughs> That's stupid. What'd you forget? <laughs> Waterline. Dun 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 oh, You gotta be dumb, you gotta be tough. <laughs> You're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. <laughs> The van barely fits in here. Yeah, how'd you phrase that? Huh? 
How, how does the, how well does the van fit in here? Barely. No, no. What'd you tell me? Oh, yeah, the van fit in here like a uh, what Saint Bernard going through the cat door. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, there it goes. Oh fuck. I mean, perfect Newton. It's a driving pleasure, he says. <laughs> Freedoms! Oh. It's a boy! <laughs> it's a freaking heavy intake. How much do how you think that weighs? Uh, maybe not 40 pounds. 35? <laughs> it's heavy. But... Original, new, aluminum, light. <laughs> so that's a 351 Windsor intake manifold uh, performer by Elbrock. It's a dual plane. Nothing super special. I picked it up for like 100 bucks. You can buy them brand new for like 250 or 300. Um, the key thing with the Windsor. The Windsors from here to here are wider than a 302 or a Cleveland or any, the Windsor is going to be wider there in the valley. So that's a key way to tell the difference between a Windsor and a Cleveland or a 302 because a 302 and a 351 are basically the same motor, pretty close, there's a few key differences, the heads are interchangeable on them. The cams are interchangeable. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Damn it! I'm screwed by the carburetor. What happened? I'm screwed by the carburetor. You put the carb on and you can't reach the bolts and put the bolts in? One of the bolts. Oh, bummer! <laughs> Fail. This this one. What? I don't know how many square square pounds of grunt these need. Cool. Um, okay, is that ratchet out there? For those? Yeah. No, it should be in there. I gave it to you earlier. Oh yeah, huh? <gasps> I don't know if y'all can see this, but Forrest is done looped. Right there. How is that even possible? Uh, that was ridiculous. What happened, Forrest? Well, I was sitting down in here to do all the intake, and somehow my belt attached to my uh, transfer case lever, and, uh, and I couldn't get back up. I had fallen and I could not get back up. He has a T-handle transfer case lever too. <laughs> yeah. That's the best part. Um, I need the other, the other one. The ratchet. You're, you're needy. I know. You're always asking for shit. I know. Besides? Uh, it's this, I just need this. I need the bigger one of this. <laughs> the bigger one of this. It's a good thing I'm a smart fella or, uh, 
a fart smeller because I know what he's talking about. These badass fucking handy dandy wrenches here. Yeah, fucking cool. Did coolest. I ever tell you a story about how I lost the antenna on my on this thing? No. When I was living in California. So I lived in California for three years, like you know. Um, and I was driving from San Diego to Descanso every day, cause and that's about a thirty minute drive. Mind you, I was driving this thing in California every day, <laughs> and uh, I'm driving along, and it's all nice and quiet, same as usual. Motors bogging down and dying on the way up the hill. And uh, all of a sudden I hear wham and I look over and my antenna is gone. And your what? And my antenna is gone. It was done gone. It made the loudest bang ever. And I came to realize a freaking bat came flying by and nailed my antenna and then hit my freaking A pillar here and bounced over the top of my van. <laughs> So, that's the story on how I lost my antenna. How do we say that again? Antenna. Is that a... Or antennae. Huh. You have multiple? I have multiple. CBs too, eh? Yeah. Well, fucking high end over here. Alright. That's what we always do. We're known for our brats around here. It's all we, it's all we cook. Bratwurst. Barbecue everything. Oh, there we go. The wiener chain. Mm. Put them to night night for a little bit. Happened today. We went and hit up the local Harbor Freight, and we are now lit up. Did we announce on YouTube that you're having a baby? Uh, so. no. Zach's having a baby. The wife's pregnant. Yes, the wife is pregnant. I need a half inch wrench, Zach. Are we still filming? Yeah. Be. Ah, uh, yeah. Died. Nope, we're good. Uh, nope, we got a new one to the F and F garage. Yep. Woohoo! Tiny people. Yeah, it's like the size of my thumb right now. Yeah. She's not very far along, but we got one. Just big. Dun, 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 dun. Where you at? Yo! What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> Getting jacked up. Getting jacked up on Mountain Dew! No! We're talking. Full throttle. Hey, we need sponsors. Full throttle. What's up? You like drinks? And we always run wide open. We always run. I don't know if you can quite see that. That's the new intake. There we go. New intake and then all the greasy nastiness of the motor and that nasty old carburetor, but I'm broke, so. It's what we do. Right. It's a, a little bit of roadkill without the road trip. <laughs> this is daily life for me and Zach. Like, this is what we do. They go out. I love their show. I'm not talking bad about them. They go out, pick up a car, never even looked at it, and then drive across country. I go, I buy a car that I've never seen before, drive it back to my house, and then daily drive it to and from work. <laughs> Until it breaks down, and then I fix it. This is true. Or, like the Vans case, it ran great. I just wanted more. So I bought nice, pretty, good-looking parts and put them on this nasty, greasy motor that it's going to blow up eventually anyways. Yes, this big blue... Well, call it what you want. What do you call it, Forrest? Static pattern. I was going to say beautiful. <laughs> but, yeah. It's a stabbing cabin. It's going down like snow and aspen. Welcome to a stabbing cabin. Oh,
I know I am. <sighs> Goodbye, everybody. See ya. See you next time. Well, see you next time, guys. Where are you going, Zach? I don't know. I can't do what I wanted to do. <laughs> I don't know how to film myself. And <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Um, but no, but the pretty do put the battery in the shit box so we go from home. Everybody thinks we're broke, but at least we can afford our own Oompa Loompa. Was something.